one 844 The poll question this week is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. Their new holiday flavors are available now. I love their chocolate gingerbread cupcakes. Go to wickedgoodcupcakes.com right now. That's wickedgoodcupcakes.com. And you can uh, also uh, take part in the uh, the veterans uh, the the veterans promotion. Uh, just go to uh, Taste of Home. Click on Taste of Home. You can send a a, a a wicked good cupcake to a veteran for five bucks. It's a good deal. That 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 runs through the middle of uh, December as well. Cupcakes great for you. Great for a veteran. Uh, just uh, think about the, think about the men and the, and women and uh, serving in our armed forces. What's the poll question and what are the results thus far, Steve? Would Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders have beaten? President-elect Donald Trump. In retrospect, I think it would have been closer, but I still think Trump would have prevailed. Uh, 82% say no. Donald Trump still wins. Yeah, they asked him uh, on one of the shows uh, this on Sunday uh, whether he would have won, and he said, I, I don't want to get into the Monday morning quarterbacking thing. That was a good That was a good response. I mean, I, I'm sure he thought about it for a long time, but when you say something like that, you, you everybody knows what you really mean. Everybody gets it. Okay. Uh, let's take a couple of calls here at the, at the show, and then we got a lot of other stuff to get to. Uh, Scott will be joined by uh, Ann Coulter after the bottom of the hour. Scott, you're next with Howie Carr on the General Communications Listener Line. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Howie. Uh, I was on the uh, Internet uh, uh, this morning, and I see where um, they're trying to get uh, signatures, and they've already got a million to try to convince the uh, Electoral College to switch back to Hillary. Uh, Good luck. Can you comment on that a little bit? Good luck. That's what ha, I'm... Ha, 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 Do you think if uh, Trump had won the popular vote, uh, they, the uh, they, the Republicans could have gotten anywhere if they tried to get uh, Hillary's uh, electors to switch? No, nah, no, nah, but I think the millennials kind of think that if they uh, put out signatures and all this protest that they'll uh, get Hillary back in power and Bill can, uh, you know... He could uh, run amok. Was, uh, he could yeah. run amok in the in the White House again. You know, you know what, Scott? The millennials. I'm going to give them some advice. I, I think I wrote this in one of my columns. Millennials, let's look on the bright side of Tuesday. You don't got to have any midterms, okay? And even more importantly, that's short term. Long term, weed is legal, man. Weed is like legal in one quarter of the country. Bruce, you're next with Howie Carr. On the General Communications listener line. Go ahead, Bruce. Howie, I'm honored by being on your show every time I call in. Thank you. And and the thing is, the lies. They just keep coming. I know. Harry Reid lies. And they just keep coming out. It's, Howie, it's, it's like a, uh, it's like a, it's like a disease. It, it is. out there like, it is. It, you know, William Sapphire said at the late columns for the New York Times that uh, Hillary Clinton, I think he called her a pathological liar. And she is. She she is. Uh-oh. They all, But all of them are pathological liars, Bruce. Do you, do you know they, they, uh, they you know who the new uh, head of the DNC is? Oh, we'll get to that. Oh, I thought they I thought you said he had it in the bag. No, he's in the running. Oh, he's in the running. OK, we'll get to him in a moment. I mean, and it, you know, it, when they're not making stuff up, they're just so damned ignorant that they might as well be making stuff up. Do, do we have time for the cut? No, we don't have time for his cut. We'll play it in a little while. Keith Ellison, he's a congressman from Minnesota. He's a Muslim. He and, he and he, you know, he couldn't spell cat if you spotted him the C and the T. And I'm going to prove it, too, when we come back. We got Ann Coulter with us. 1-844-500-4242. I'm Howie Carr. <laughs> 